Hello! It's me again. Um, I kind of wanted to record this a bit sooner, but I just never got around to it. But this is my next sketchbook tour. Uh, yeah, I'm a little out of date, but <laughs> this was completed um, in March to April this year. Um, which is probably the quickest I've ever finished one sketchbook, but I was I was on something. I was having a great time. I was living a good life. You can see I went, really went extra with this one. Like, uh, this is just a regular pink pig sketchbook with this uh, textured paper, but I painted on top of it. <laughs> uh, and I didn't like it, so I painted in the white square on top and just used it as like a thing. And it looks kind of tacky, but I had a bit of fun. Um, I was trying to embrace creativity a little bit. But anyway, yeah, let's get stuck in. So at the end of the last one, I was doing a lot of um, art safari uh, speed sketching towards the end. And there's going to be a lot more of that in this. I was really enjoying art safari speed sketching. That's when like every Thursday, this company called Art Safari would do like like in a zoom call they throw up loads of like animal references and you draw them as quick as you can i was having a great time but they stopped that for the summer so that'll probably be the last time you see that in here but anyway usually start sketchbook with a bit of swatching and i'll still read into my fountain pens at this point so a lot of swatching fountain pen ink i usually do a wash test to see how nice and washable it is this is back when i only had five colors i have a lot more colors now good god okay i went a bit crazy but anyway Here's the first two pages of that uh, speed sketching I was on about. So this was a cheetah session, which I was very happy about because I love cheetahs. They just have really fun, nice shapes, like all the curves and of course the spots like following the curves. I had great fun here. I was using my, uh, my Diamine Cherry Sunburst ink, which had this really nice warm brown red. And I just really liked that. Um, really loved this pose. See, I janked up the elbow a bit, so I tried again here, trying to embrace my mistakes a little bit. That's why I like to draw with ink quite a lot. Here's more of that page there. A bit more of a sequential thing going on here. A little tiny little eye study. Tried adding a bit of watercolor. Having fun with cheetahs. Oh yeah, this is usually at the end of each art safari. If there was one drawing I quite liked, I'd try to finish it properly like uh, with watercolor and gouache, and that was one of these. This one turned out a bit janky, but I quite like how this one turned out. I was really enjoying this flat brush that I have. It's like a little, I've got it here actually, little flat travel brush. And I quite like the flat brush right now because I kind of like the blocky look, you know, the kind of blocky, shapey, textury things it does with it. And it's quite nice with fur too, if you have it on its flat edge and you do that. Having a lot of fun with this right now. It also doesn't hold a ton of water, which isn't great for watercolor brush, but it does mean it's quite easy to get a dry texture with it. So I've actually kind of been liking it, even though it's technically not a good brush, but I've been liking it for its dryness, weirdly. <laughs> uh, this was just a doodle page. Um, we are flying to Frankfurt this day. So I was just trying to get my mind off of, uh, you know, just trying to be less bored on the plane. This was a reference image I had on my phone by some artist. And unfortunately I never noted down their name. I just had this in like an inspiration folder and I really liked the style of this. So I tried replicating it and I had to add a little rat just because. But yeah, we were flying to, we were flying to Frankfurt. Um, we were visiting some family. So I drew a little bit on the train on the way there. Um, I was trying this ink for the first time. It was my first waterproof ink. It's called Sketch Ink Lily. Um, this is, it's kind of like a grey green almost because I didn't quite want a black, I wanted something softer but I wasn't really feeling this either. It's very cold grey uh, but whatever, I changed that later. Um, here I was having a bit of an eye crisis because I always have an eye crisis. I always hate how I draw eyes a lot of the time so I did like, I was like let's just sit down and try and sort this out. So I tried loads of different eye styles, tried to think of like the 3D-ness of them, how they'd like rotate. And I still couldn't really find a nice shorthand on eyes. And I think I'm just like, in the end, I was like, oh, you know, I'm just going to go with my gut because the the more I like think about it and obsess over it, the less confident I feel. So I was like really trying to push certain things. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm probably just making it worse. But anyway, um, these were drawn at this farm. Uh, by next to the place that we staged, there was a little farm. 
So I took a bunch of pictures there and I like drew them back in our room. Just have a play around. They had peacocks at this farm, lots of geese, they had goats and sheep. Um, this is at a wildlife park we went to as the ticket. They had like lots of boar and a uh, red squirrel and uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, they had some deer, a lot of boar, more boar. This was a view from a nice place where we sat and had lunch. They had a bunch of birds of prey there, which I absolutely love. I quite like how this one turned out and like the the legs on this guy. I really like birds of prey because they're so, you know, raptured dinosaur like, aren't they? They have great shapes and this guy had great boots, <laughs> like really fluffy legs, you know, those big old raptor leggings. Here's another vulture here and this horse I was really excited about because it looked really prehistoric and I discovered later that it's a heck horse, which is not not like uh closely closely related to prehistoric horses but it's bred to appear as if it is something like that i don't know exactly but yeah these horses are beautiful i recommend looking them up they've got them that dorsal stripe going on and they're very kind of like like soft beigey brown they're just they look very prehistoric i was very like oh this is interesting um this was a skull that i drew um, of a roe deer. That was um, where we stayed. Uh, these were drawn from some pictures that we took at the park of a Eurasian lynx and a grey wolf at the park. So I did kind of little study pages and I quite like how these turned out. I did like one one like uh, kind of detail shot with like black ink and then you know some extra little shots with the the orange ink. I quite like how those turned out. I made some mistakes on the links here so I corrected them with the black ink and then you can't really tell <laughs> that they were mistakes so it's like phew kind of. Um, yeah at this point I don't really like this page. I, I was having a bit of a style crisis again um, and was kind of drawing my feelings out and I didn't like how this turned out. Like this always happens when I'm when I draw for a vent like for venting it always turns out crap, so I try not to do it, but I did it this time and yeah, I didn't like how it turned out, so it made me feel worse. But yeah, also this ink that I was using feathered a lot on this paper and it was making me feel more blah and I was like, ugh, you know, not a good day that one. Um, doodling a lot, playing a lot with inks again here. I was combining a uh, diamine cherry sunburst with the sketch ink lily and I really quite liked how these colours look together, like the kind of dark red brown with the grey green. I thought it was really nice. Uh, this was another Art Safari speed sketch. So this was a monochrome theme. And I just had these really cheap kind of water pens, uh, water-based pens that I was scribbling with these. And just like, you know, like a blue gray, more of a warm gray and a black. And yeah, I was just kind of scribbling, trying to be really quick and get loose stuff down. This was a bit of a weird page, but you know, whatever, it was an attempt. <laughs> and this was a day out with my London drawing club. So I started a drawing club in London. I can't remember if I mentioned this last time, but I started a drawing club in London because I was really craving one that went to like museums and stuff. And this was the first time that like loads of people showed up. Like most of the people showed up that were in, like as a Discord group and most of the people in the group showed up. So it was probably like 20 people. I was like, whoa. <laughs> And it was so lovely when we went to the Grant Museum of Zoology in London and we drew a bunch of skulls and a bunch of other bits. Here's some bat skulls and a skeleton. Um, this is a really crude drawing of a um, view of some big mammal in the thing. Oh yeah, I, c I received this, I think. Um, it was the first time I met this person. I was like, oh. Oh, what a, what a lovely first impression, receiving a donut cat sticker. I was very happy with that. And here we go. We we do a um, like a sketchbook swap at the end of each of these events. And this was this one. And because so many people turned up, it was a nice big one, like full spread. Um, yeah, a bunch of, bunch of people drawing each other's sketchbooks. It was really nice. Very cute. I, I have a bunch of these in future sketchbooks now. Um, but yeah, they're extremely cute. And then there's the last one there. And some, some stickers from STEM. She was giving out stickers. Uh, these are just some doodles playing with inks again. And this is another art safari. So this was a, a rabbit and hare themed one. And I really loved this one. I was kind of focusing again on my 
reds and oranges, my diamine cherry sunburst, and this one orange pen I was really liking. It's just a really cheap pen, but it's got a really nice like, terracotta orange. Um, and I was really loving the shapes on this because hairs just have amazing shapes. Like I really like how this one turned out actually. Um, and then a skeleton here and I tried to draw my outline around it and I was really just kind of focusing on their crazy hind leg shapes and like the really big sloping forehead. They're just a lot of fun and like they, they could be so exaggerated, you know, they have such a such a stride. Um, and like, yeah, just crazy shaped heads. They're just so much fun to draw hairs. Oh yeah, here's more is like fighting fighting jackrabbits and like I was using more of a brush pen here, you know, these like pentel brush pens that can get really nice and dry and bristly and have a really nice effect. Uh, so another little doodle page. I was trying to draw sort of like an anthro version of uh, this character I uh, I designed. It's kind of like bird cat thing. So she's kind of got like a little wrapped claw going on. Um, and these are some nice fern patterns from a cardigan I have. Here's some more ink play. So tons of ink swatching again. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch in my last one too. And I was writing some notes about the ink here. I was kind of testing these were a bunch of little vials that I bought just to test and I was testing out the waterproofness here, like uh, different colours. Uh, here's a bit more, I was, trying to, I was trying to mix some of those waterproof colours to get a nice brown. Um, here's another uh, art safari session and this one was newts and frogs themed. So I had never really drawn newts and frogs before so this was a really nice change. Very interesting textures on these guys. Uh, just being very scribbly and loose again. I quite like how this one turned out. Um, I was also having a lot of fun because I was testing out some new inks, you know, the ones that I uh, I received on this page. Um, I got a waterproof brown ink, which is this brown that you see on most of these. And I really liked it because it's kind of just, you know, not as stark as black, but a bit softer and warmer. But adding a bit of black to detail some areas. And I also had this ink called Inkibara Earth, and I absolutely loved Inkibara Earth. Um, it's like a, a soft, a soft sandy brown, but it multi shades into this green. You can see I did a water test here, and oh, it's just gorgeous. It worked perfectly for this frog, because it's like perfect frog colors, right? It's like this nice sandy brown, but with kind of green tinges at the edges. Perfect frog color. Um, I absolutely loved Inkybara Earth. I haven't, it's kind of hard to find whole bottles. So I haven't bought a whole bottle yet. I completely finished that sample, but I've been trying to find substitutes and try those out. Um, here's a bunch more ink testing. I was trying to mix a good color again for waterproof ink. And I got kind of close. I did like this color, but in the end, I just decided to buy a whole bottle of this, of this brown that I used on this page, just because I liked it and it saved me having to mix a bunch. So um, it's quite an expensive ink, but it'll last a long time. Here it is. It's uh, Diatrementus Document Brown, and it's a fountain pen ink, um, but it's waterproof because usually fountain pen inks are not waterproof because it's unsafe for pens. But this one is designed to be a bit safer. It could still clog your pen, but it's a little bit safer uh, than a you know regular waterproof ink. Here's another just little sketchy page. I was experimenting with a bit of mixed media. So this is kind of just a watercolor blob uh, base layer and then um, ink and pencil over the top for detailing and uh, textures. So you can see kind of the base color is watercolor and then kind of pen for details and outlines and then pencil for some scratchy texture. And I really liked how these turned out. So I like to go back to the style when I'm not lazy, you know, <laughs> when I'm not just scribbling. Um, here was a, t a little bit more ink testing. So this is Inkybara Earth again, and this is Diamine Sapia. And I was comparing this with, uh, I think a different kind of brown. I was trying to find a nice soft brown, like, well, very warm orangey brown to match that pen I was using. Um, and it was turning out very pale. So I did a whole bunch of sketches and I maybe outlined them with the dark brown to see how that worked. Uh, oh, this was a Plon Air meet that I went to. And this was really nice. A, a nice couple of artists that I follow scheduled a Plon Air meet. And we met in uh, Hyde Park and we drew around there and it was really lovely. I actually have the painting here. Um, it was just kind of a really loose 
plein air of uh, the Albert Moore Memorial. Here it is. Uh, so I'm not very confident with landscapes, but I thought I'd give it a try. And, you know, I had it all the way up here. So I added this kind of loose ink drawing later of some wildflowers or whatever. But yeah, this was a lovely little meet. Um, I had good fun here. Uh, this was a postcard that one of the artists who went drew. And this is, uh, this is me drawing. And she gave it to me and I was so jazzed. I was like, oh, this is so lovely. And she drew it with like mostly highlighters, so really fun colors. And um, I stuck it in here, so that's a nice memory from that day. Um, I also swatched out these really cheap uh, pens that I got just to see what colors I have. And they were really cheap, so it's not too bad. But of course, these sets always come with the most saturated colors ever, don't they? So I was kind of like, uh, these are probably a bit too bright for me. But at least uh, I have them. They were only like seven pounds or something. Um, this is another speed sketching session. So this one was weather themed. So, you know, drawing a lot of a lot of wet, a lot of rain, wind. I'm not very confident with people, so I tried drawing some of the people here, but um, yeah, I kind of uh, I kind of struggle a little bit. Uh, but this tree had a really cool shape. I really liked that one. And these <laughs> these are really loose, but these are some. I was I was running out of energy here, but you know, it's just like a waterfall, a desert. I think this was an iceberg, but it had really nice blaring sun on it. So the the white ice was kind of pinkish in the sunset. Some more icebergs and a re really crude rainbow. It looks like a child did it. But yeah, that was a fun one. Um, more ink testing, more ink notes. So this was another little, a little test and I kind of bled the inks around a bit too much. So it's a little bit bleedy. Um, this was a color called Diamine Smoke on the Water, which is a really vivid blue that kind of uh, sheens when it pools. Um, I didn't get it to sheen here, but it's such a lovely vibrant teal anyway. Um, it's a very quick sketch I did before I met with a friend of the uh, Museum of the Order of St. John. Because <laughs> there's a lot of museums like that in London, you know, old English museums. Um, here was at the uh, Essex slash London Cat Club show. So I've been to a few cat shows and this was the last one I went to. I like to go and try and chat up some breeders to see, you know, what their future plans are. Um, uh, and I also like to draw the cats, so I drew a bunch of cats. This is a Tabby Point Siamese. Um, uh, Burmese cream. And I think this is the same Tabby Point Siamese because they had a really lovely sleepy pose. Uh, an oriental short hair, a ragamuffin in brackets in box. And then this is a British short hair, nice and round. Um, this is another British short hair. This is when I brought out the inky bar. Oh, pardon me. The inky bar at Earth again, which is, you know, really nice brown. I was loving this ink. I really want it again. Um, I quite like this one. This is a chartreux. A sphinx, because I always like to see a sphinx. And a Devon Rex, because I always try to hang around the Rexes a lot, because I'd love a Rex in the future. But yeah, again, with inky bar at Earth, just... I don't know if you can quite see it on camera, but it just has a slight green tinge in the at the edges which oh I just love it <laughs> I miss it <laughs> I want it back so this was another uh, of my uh, London drawing club uh, meets so I took everyone on this trail of dog statues at Canary Wharf called Paws on the Wharf so what we did is we followed this trail of dog statues and we tried to draw as many as we could before we got knackered so this was number one set so the most effort put into it the spotty dog and I think this was number two um, and then here, here there is a gap because I drew someone's cat here and sent it to them in the post because they offered to send me a bunch of free ink samples if I drew their cat. So that's why there's a missing thing here. It was very cute um, for them to, you know, do a little trade with me. Um, here's some of STEM stickers again from STEM Ginger. We stopped for a coffee, so I drew some of the coffees. Uh, there was also a fox that we saw, so I drew some of the pictures of the fox they took. We saw a guide dog along the trail, a few ducks, and then this was one of the statues again. And I tried some funky colours with it that I really didn't like, so when I got home I completely painted over it in gouache, so that's why this is kind of blocky, painty kind of look. And this is another sketchbook swap we did at the end, so a smaller one this time. It was very cute, it was a lovely day that one. I just recovered from being sick on that day, so I was exhausted by the end, but it was lovely. Um, 
here I was watching an artist on YouTube, I think, drawing some birds, and I wanted to draw along and play with colour pencils, because I very rarely do. So there's a few birds in colour pencils, and I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, I love the texture that pencils give, I just, uh, I never think to pick them up, I don't know why. It's not huge on uh, pencils right now. Um, another speed sketching session with penguins. So this was a really fun one. I really liked this teal and brown that I used together on this one. Uh, I did kind of like the technique of doing really loose, rough backgrounds and then inking over the top the penguins afterwards. Here are some Adelis. Adelis? Adelis? Those kind of penguins. I think here are some kings. King penguins. I kind of like the shape of this guy. Birds just have such a lovely curve to them. Like a lovely... I don't want to say breast, but it's the breast. <laughs> like, you know, curvy guys. Again with a kind of loose background and then inking over the top. Um, this These colours turn out really muddy, so like, ugh, but you know, practice. Uh, here's some more ink testing. I was playing with some new greens that I got. Um, I really liked these two combined together. It's kind of like a... Kind of like a pale ever so greenish blue and then ever so bluish green and together they made a lovely lovely kind of uh, sea foamy green that I was looking for um, and these were the three kind of inks I was using at the time I really like this palette together sort of like a dark brown a pale brown and like a nice kind of turquoisey blue and I just really like blue and brown together I think it looks really nice uh, again more doodles a bit of ink play um, testing the new kind of brownie orange and green that I got. I also drew this guy who I, re who I really liked because I kind of liked the idea of doing like a realistic drawing but with just really stupid simple circle cartoony eyes and I posted just this drawing by itself on Twitter as a joke and I actually did really well and I was very surprised you know you know how social media works the most crude unexpected stuff gets the attention right. Um, I think, was this another speed sketching? No, I think I just wanted to draw and I didn't know what to draw, so I brought up some random birds. Um, and this kind of turned out to be a bit of a mess, but whatever, I gave it a go, right? But yeah, this orange and blue together I quite liked. And the last page is another little bird, and I just kind of, I think I was just kind of, I wanted to draw but I was being lazy, so I just kind of scribbled this. Did this mint and yellow in the background, I really like those together. Um, and then testing a pen right at the end. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's all on this one. This one wasn't too exciting. I, I preferred my previous one because I was getting into gouache and watercolour again, so I was being way more playful. Um, but this one was just a lot of speed sketching. I was having a lot of fun, you know, doing my drawing clubs. Just drawing a lot. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Thought I'd keep this one a lot quicker and simple because I still have I think this one is the next one I'm pretty sure what April 24 yeah so this is the next one this is April to July this year and I really loved the sketchbook I wanted to try it so I've been using pink pigs this whole time this was a whole new one and I absolutely loved this one so I'm excited to go through this one with you too and then after that I have another one <laughs> I, just, I really liked the sketchbook, so my next one is a different one again, just to play around, but I think I'm gonna go back to this one, because it's a really nice sketchbook. But anyway, next time will be this one. Thank you very much for looking, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!